everyone. So I'm starting off with my food processor and you can find all the ingredients along with the quantities down in the description box. Now I've added in my extra lean chicken mince as well as my prawns. You can use some frozen or even the fresh deveined ones is even better actually. Now I'm just going to be adding in some roughly chopped carrots followed by some green onions as well as garlic and some green chilies. Now I'm using five thigh green chilies. I like spicy food, but you can adjust it to your own preference. As my binding agent, I'm going to be adding two and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. This is just gonna help everything come together. Now I'm gonna be adding in one tablespoon of rice vinegar, a tablespoon of soy sauce, followed by another tablespoon of sesame oil. Now this all just gets poured straight into the food processor bowl and I'm just going to be adding a little bit of salt as seasoning over the top. Now do remember that soy sauce is pretty salty on its own so adjust accordingly. Pop the lid onto the food processor and we're simply gonna blitz it away. Now while you're blitzing you will have to stop once or twice in the middle and just stir stuff around so that everything can get you know like minced up and get smooth. You are going to be left with a paste and while the paste is not the most appetizing thing to look at in the world, it does taste nice. So to the paste, I'm going to be adding some sliced water chestnuts. They're straight from a can. I just sliced them up and then I just roasted some peanuts or monkey nuts and I just took off some of the husks. You can leave the husks on or take them all off. It's completely up to you. Now we're adding both these so that there is a bit of crunchiness and you're not just having a mouthful of paste with a wrapper. Just a quick blitz or if you like large chunky bits you can just stir it around with a spoon. This is what the final outcome will be like. It's pretty pasty, yeah. I am using pre-made wonton skins or wonton wrappers. You can also find dumpling wrappers and dumpling skins in your grocery store, usually found in the Asian section. Now I'm just going to lay out a few onto my chopping board and I'm going to take a spoon and just put a dollop of my filling straight in the center of each of them. Now what you do need to try and do is try to get them all the same size because you really don't want one dumpling to look nice and full and the other one have barely any filling where you have to go and use binoculars to find it. So yeah. Now I just have a bowl with some water and I'm just going to add some water right around the edges on the wrappers. I'm using my fingers, you can use a pastry brush, it's up to you. Now the water is going to help it adhere to itself once we start folding it. Now please remember not to do the entire lot of wrappers in one go as they will dry out. Simply pick up the corners and start pinching them together and make sure to leave the tops open. It's really easy, really simple, and I like to press down the top a little to make it a little flat on top, but it's your preference, it's your choice. They're really easy, super simple to make. Now, I usually do one chopping board at a time, and yeah, you just fold them, leave the tops open, and as long as your finger has a bit of water on it, none of the filling is going to stick to your hands. So once you finish making all your wrappers, you can just set them aside, and you're just going to start getting your water boiling in your steamer. You can use the traditional steamer, which is the bamboo one over a pot of boiling water, or just use an electric one or even a rice cooker if you have one. So while the water is coming up to a boil, I'm just going to be adding in some soy sauce to a frying pan. Now to this, I will also be adding some dried red chili flakes. And I'm adding a low sodium stock cube to it as well. Now this is just a random dipping sauce that I usually use. And I'm also going to be adding some brown sugar. Followed by a bit of rice vinegar. You can adjust the dipping sauce to whatever you like. Um, another favourite of mine is the sweet and hot dipping sauce that you usually get. I think Red Rooster makes it over here in Canada. Now you're going to bring it up to a boil. And you're going to have it reduced to about half. Once that's done, it'll be at a nice syrupy consistency. That's all you need to do. Just set it aside. 
Now that you can see the water's up to a nice rolling boil, I'm just going to place my dumplings into my steamer and pop them in. Now I'm going to steam these for 8 minutes. And yeah, I'm going to go about my work, get a little container, get a plate, get everything ready for it. So I can pretty much just snarf everything down and be happy. My 8 minutes are up, the timer just went off. And now all you got to do is take them out of the steamer, set them on a plate. Be happy that you're about to eat because you're hungry and this is being shot at four in the morning. So here I just add some chopped up onion leeks as well as some chopped up carrots and that's it. Super easy, really quick and fast to make and ever so yummy. I hope you guys like this. Enjoy. See you next time.